says we have 1,181 kilometers to go to our destination. We're here just into Maine, USA from New Brunswick, Canada at one of the first rest areas. So we got a full day of driving today and a little bit to do tomorrow yet. And we'll get this load off of us and then I believe we're headed down to Georgia. I haven't had that confirmed yet. It was sort of just thrown out there that that's probably what's going on. It sounded like they're gonna send me down to Augusta, Georgia with a load going back up to Manitoba. But uh, that's that, I can neither confirm nor deny that, that that's gonna happen. But we do need to get rolling today. We got miles in front of us. We got a truck to take us. And apparently the roads are not gonna be as congested as usual because of the whole situation going around the world. The sickness. Just spat on my steering wheel. Oh, that's how you spread it. Speaking moistly again. Here we go. yesterday's video you should go back and watch it it explains today we got 78,300 pounds on us I believe or 78 somewhere in there 73,000 something no 78,300 pounds yeah that's better so we're very close to our uh, maximum legal weight here in the United States of 80,000 pounds Enjoy a day of beautiful American highways. I'm not ashamed to admit it. Actually, well, I sort of am. America is far superior in their highways. I know it's because they spend a whole lot more money into them. Uh, that doesn't make it any less true. They have superior highways to us. So, I don't think we're getting too close to Portland yet that we got to go quite a ways yet but we are getting close to the rest area where I wanted to stop and hopefully go grab a coffee I haven't had a coffee today yet and that's a problem it's a big problem not much going on in northern Maine now, I'm surprised that northern Maine didn't become like New Brunswick or part of Canada. It goes way up north there. There's nothing up there. And it's sort of, because if we want to stay in Canada and get from Quebec to New Brunswick, we got to go way up and over Maine to stay in Canada, right? But I guess that's where they drew the line. That's what they decided. I heard once that uh, Maine actually is one of the states that tried to join Canada once. Is that true? Interesting. Not much going on in northern Maine at all. Very much like Canada. But we're starting to get closer to the population. Start to see a few more towns here and there. Uh-oh, what are you guys doing here? What are you doing? You could have gone on the off-ramp there, bud. That would have been a lot safer. But by all means, risk your life right there on the shoulder. Right around the corner, right? <laughs> blind corner a lot of people aren't going to see him in time to move over look at this budding trees leaves oh that's nice haven't seen that in a while so it was confirmed to me today that after I deliver this load in uh, Pittsville Maryland tomorrow afternoon uh, I gotta be there before five I should should not have a problem with that at all but uh, after we unload there, we have to go uh, empty down to Augusta, Georgia. A little bit of a hike, but uh, obviously it's worth it. And now that I'm getting paid by the mile, I get paid whether or not I'm loaded or empty. So to me, it doesn't matter what's in the box. I just want there to be something in there so that the people who pay me have money to pay me with. So I prefer it to be loaded. Where's this rest area? It's gotta be just around this corner here. I really hope they didn't close down their coffee shops in there. 
That would be very disappointing. I had my first coffee shop uh, refuse me service in New Brunswick, actually. They didn't actually refuse me service. They uh, made me walk around the drive-thru outside. Wouldn't serve me inside. Which is strange, right? Because if, I, if they serve me inside, they have a plexiglass protection plate or protection glass there to, you know, as we make our transaction. But if I walk around the drive-thru, there's no barrier between me and the employee. The window's just wide open. I pointed that out and they're like, yeah, I don't know, the boss said to do this. So, oh, I was thinking to myself, oh, I'm sorry to say, the boss makes no sense. <laughs> it was a Robin's Donuts in, uh, it was in Nova Scotia, actually, not New Brunswick. Nova Scotia refused me service, but I could still get my coffee. I just had to walk around, stand in the lineup with the cars, stand there and walk around. It felt so weird. But they still got my coffee. It's not like they refused me service. They just wanted me outside. So I still haven't found a place where the bathrooms are closed or where they refuse me service completely. But I hear they exist. Maybe we'll find them on this trip. I don't know. A lot of people out there whining about it. It's got to be true, right? Got to be somebody refusing service to truckers. Well, the rest area I was thinking of is the Kennebunk rest area, I believe. And that's further down the road, further than I want to wait for a coffee. So, we stopped here instead. Where are we? We're at Irving, uh, here in, uh, where were we? Moosehead Trail, Maine? Moosehead Trail? <laughs> Let's ask the Googles. Hey, Google. Hey, Google. Yeah, I guess I should connect to the internet first. Hey Google, where are we? Here are some results from the web. That's not what I asked. I didn't ask for results. She gave me a song. Oh, Newport, Maine. You could have just told me Newport, Maine. Google, useless. Newport, Maine. We go grab a coffee and continue. Diesel, what do you think? What do you think? How's your day been so far? It's been magnificent, man. Absolutely glorious, man. It's been very nice. Look at me, I'm a Peterbilt dog. Peterbilt dog in the United States, man. Doesn't get much cooler than that. Look at me. Look at me, look how good I look. I'm looking, Diesel. You're looking pretty good over there. You're looking very good. Thanks, man, I know. Look at him all confident. <laughs> He's so happy. He loves the truck. <laughs> I had almost forgotten how congested this part of the country is. I had it in the back of my mind. I knew, I knew, but until you get here, and this isn't even bad because everybody's like at home night, night right now, right? They're all on lockdown, whatever you want to call it. This isn't even bad. It's just the trucks that are so congested out here now. It is what it is. At least I found a place to stop. I'll be able to run in here once I'm done fueling, grab a coffee, and uh, hopefully be out of here in no time. Got to make it quite a ways down the road yet. We should probably actually look to see where we can park for night. Uh, since we got to wait here anyways, we should probably plan that out now. Now, I use an app called Trucker Path. I don't know if you've heard of it or not. Uh, I'm not sponsored by them or anything. It's just what I use. It's been very helpful. Try and find if there's any parking around where we're going to deliver. We're delivering in uh, Maryland and it's right below the state of Delaware on that little peninsula or whatever there. Right close to Salisbury, Maryland. There's a way station there, but I don't really want to park at the way station. That's not something I like to do. We're even allowed to do that because you can like zoom in on the parking lot and well, there's a few truck stops around i guess it depends from what angle i come from i'll be coming through philadelphia so i'll be coming down here i might stay in delaware what truck stop is this oasis travel plaza oh probably means that there's gonna be no parking spots when i get there it'll be late tonight I don't think I'm even going to make it that far. 
There's plenty of truck stops by the looks of it. I just don't really want to stay around the big cities like Philadelphia and New York and what is this here? Trenton. I, I want to get through all the big cities today. I really don't want to stay in the big cities. I'm not a big city person. Through that. Through that mess. Uh, my truck wants to shut down. It's got this automatic shut off feature. Gotta move up right away. He should be almost done. Mr. Uh, I'm not gonna name any names, but Mr. Orange Truck. Hurry it up. All right, the orange truck in front of this flatbed finally got his butt out of the way. That took a long time to fuel, bud. Wow, what were you doing? Now this guy's gotta fuel up and then it'll be my turn. This dry van in front of this Western Star Bobtail here is taking a really long time too. I'm noticing most drivers got face masks on outside their truck. I guess I should probably wear mine too then. In two kilometers, keep to the right on I-91. We're getting closer and closer to New York City and I've been debating whether or not to go through tonight or stop somewhere on this side and go through tomorrow. I know there's probably not gonna be much traffic tomorrow. There's probably going to be a lot more than tonight and I, I don't want to be held up and waste all my e-log hours in traffic. So we're going to try to get through the city tonight yet and hopefully, hopefully find somewhere to park on the other side. That's the risky part. I have no idea if we're going to find somewhere to park. But uh, wait, what did they say? Turn right? Turn right? Nope, I don't want to be in this lane though. Okay. 95 South. Let's get through the Big Apple. Should be nice and quick tonight. I don't think that load is legal. I don't think so. I don't even want to pass them. Look at this. safe to me. What do you think? We're just passing through New York City right now. We're in the Bronx. Uh, I think this is the Bronx. That's thought I saw a sign that said Bronx. He's losing a strap on that load one now. Kilometer, keep to the right on I-95 South and then slight right at 1.1 kilometers. Yeah, he's got a strap just hanging off the back here. Meters, keep to the right on I-95 South and then slight right and Probably doesn't even realize it. Oh, where is he going to stop, right? I'm trying to get over this bridge. I took one wrong turn. I had to go way around just to find somewhere to turn around. Everyone's honking at me. But we're okay now. We're okay. We got back to the bridge, I think. Okay, so I want to stay to the left here. This is... 200 meters. Keep to the left on I-95 South US 1 South. Oh my. Tell you what, I tell you what, this city is not designed for me. I was not designed for the city. Maybe that's how it was. Oh, what's this? What's going on here? Oh yeah, this is where we drive under a building. Look at this. Run out of space to build your big buildings? Just build them on the road. Like literally on the road. We're going under a building. I remember this. Imagine living on that. Be kind of a cool view though. It's an apartment building. Right above us. Okay, I thought that lane was closed. That's why I got into this lane. Now I can't get back into that lane. my signal device and everybody knows what that means right oh there's a hole oh took it it's mine wow look how low this roof is yet wow that is that is something else that's 
crazy. Oh, and here's the bridge. I've been looking for you. Okay, what bridge is this now? Any of you know what bridge and what it's called? It goes over the, the water here. Well, we made it through the day and we found a parking spot on the ramp of a rest area. And I walked up and down here to make sure that there's no signs that say I can't park here. There's other trucks parked here as well. I'm not the only one and nothing saying I can't park here. It's a rest area. I like to check just in case because I don't like being disturbed in the middle of the night. So I would have much rather had an actual spot but we sort of made a spot with a couple of other people. What are you gonna do? They closed down the last service area, it was under construction, so all those trucks that would usually park there, which is probably like 50 trucks at least, now they all gotta park somewhere else, so the next place is all filled up. I'm out of hours, so I have to stop. So I did my due diligence, and I think I found a, a good parking spot, a decent one anyways, and uh, parked legally and oh now it's time to go to bed what a day diesel what a day new york is crazy man <laughs> so i got a lot of filming done today i don't know if i'm going to split this into two videos or not uh if it might just be one really long one or it might be two medium length ones who knows all i know is i'm going to bed right here right with the weasel hazel hey you gonna make the bed for me? Why do you look so sad? Well, no, we can't go back to New York City. He likes the city. He likes all the lights. And he was sad that we left. <laughs> and you're tired. I can tell when you're tired. Yeah, I can tell when you're tired. I'm tired too. See you guys tomorrow. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, Trucker Josh Vlogs, here on YouTube. We make new videos pretty much every day as we're traveling around North America. We sort of broadened our uh, playground now. We were mostly just in the American Midwest and Western Canada for the last, like, three years. Uh, and now I've gotten back onto Van Division, which takes me in a much bigger circle of routes. All the way to Newfoundland, down to Florida, up through the, down around the south mostly still the eastern u.s but uh it's a bigger playground as i like to call it we'll see what happens maybe they'll send me out west once that'd be kind of cool i'd love to go down to arizona or nevada once that'd be cool not to california though i don't mind not going there that's i don't need to go there i'll just i'll just look at pictures of california on the internet and that's as close as i need to get but uh i wouldn't mind going close to it you know right up into Las Vegas. That'd be kind of cool. We'll see what happens in the next few years. I'm excited. Uh, this journey has been fun so far. This truck is running fantastic. It is ginormous. <laughs> Look at this. Woo! It is so deep. It's an 80 inch sleeper. So it's 80 inches deep from the back of those seats. The sleeper that I wanted in my dream Kenworth W900, the studio sleeper is 86 inches. So it's only six inches shorter than the one I wanted. Uh, it's just the Kenworth has more windows up here and stuff. I like that. I like the natural light coming in on me. I like bathing in the sunlight in my sleeper, but whatever. I got this window over here. Put that window over there. I like it. This truck is actually really nice. It rides so smooth, runs so nice. So I can't wait to start our day tomorrow. Don't forget to tune in and uh, hang out with me tomorrow as well. We're going down to Georgia tomorrow after we drop this freight off in uh, Maryland. Pittsville, Maryland. See you then.